Um, I follow you on Twitter, so I've seen some of your reaction. But the president, as he often does, is still making this worse by continuing to launch new attacks, this time against the leadership of the Pentagon. How does all this land for you? Terribly, most terribly for the national security of our country, because we're at a point now, Nicole, where the commander in chief is attacking his own military out in the open and everyone in the world can see it. Our enemies can see it and our enemies are celebrating. Our military is being ripped in half. Our leadership is being politicized. So this is a new low. We wonder if it can get lower. It can always get lower with Donald Trump. But this is definitely a devastatingly low point. And I think it reveals something really important about Donald Trump that military people appreciate especially. He is terribly undisciplined. He can't control himself. He does make everything worse. He's like a mm -hmm. political suicide. Every time he takes something out, he takes everything out around him. So he takes out the military, the post mm -hmm. office, tire flag grades. It just goes on and on and on. And it blows up everybody else politically along the way. And that's why I think this one hurts for him. It's a populist message when you hurt veterans. It hurts them in swing states. It hurts them with independents like me, with Republicans like you, and everybody in between. You know, Paul, what, what about just, again, what we look like around the world? We have a, a, a president, an office holder, who, before he was sworn in, described the intelligence community as Nazis, who, while Robert Mueller was investigating the Russian attack on our democracy, constantly um, called, uh, called it a coup, um, who refused to accept intel viewed as credible enough to be placed in his PDB that the Russians uh, were paying bounties to Taliban fighters for killing Americans. And now a president who, who, you know, you pull the curtain back just a little bit here and the Atlantic paints a portrait. The portrait has not been refuted by anybody except the president's known liars. This is who he is. We've seen this year after year. We saw it on the campaign. People like me who grew up in New York saw it for years. He will attack anything and anybody that's in his way. He has no respect for anything or anyone, to include the FBI and retired generals, uh, Gold Star families, John McCain. I mean, the list goes on and on. It's, it's like a, a target list of people you should not attack politically. We used to say for years and years, Babies, puppies, and vets were like political gold, but they were also radioactive. You don't go after those three groups because it's political suicide. And he does it almost on a daily basis. And maybe this time, maybe this time it's finally caught up with him and it'll mean the difference in the election. Um, we have never heard really anybody just to pull that thread a little harder and really in an uncomfortable way, Paul. We've never heard an American elected official attack any soldiers who were wounded on the battlefield. The last line of the Atlantic reporting has him specifically targeting those who were disfigured from their wounds, amputees. Uh, the Atlantic has also reported on the president's particular disdain for missions to retrieve the bodies of people killed in action or, or to go looking for people missing in action. Um, really, um, I, I don't even know the word for it. Tell me the word for that. There are no words for it. I mean, disgusting, outrageous, embarrassing. I mean, I, I think at this point, he's hit every guardrail in our democracy. Maybe the only one that's left is we hope that people like General Kelly, General Mattis, General Dumford, who are in that closed circle that can actually make a difference in these final days, not just for the election, but on our national security. Everybody thinks, you know, can it get worse? Can it get worse? The guy has control of our news. It can get a lot worse. So maybe we can't wait till November. Maybe we can't wait till a new president hopefully is sworn in in January. Every day that this guy is in office, our country is weaker and our enemies are celebrating. That's why the stakes are so much higher than politics. The Russians rammed a vehicle into American troops in Syria last week. Four Americans were wounded by Russian troops. Nobody's even talking about that. These are the kind of things that are happening while he's busy mm -hmm. attacking John Kelly, who used to serve in his own administration. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.